China was the first country to be hit with coronavirus and the first country to bounce back. While the world economy is struggling, the Chinese economy is productive and growing. Thousands of Israelis live and work in China. They own businesses, hotels, restaurants, and export from China to Israel, and import from Israel to China. We have two warehouses. Thank God we have a growth of 39%. I believe if we weren't dealing with coronavirus, we'd have even better numbers. We kept on investing, importing goods. We didn't stop. Fani Bar sells wine from Beijing through applications and groups. Some of the wines are from Israel. We have a lot of Chinese companies who buy the wine as a gift. Also, the religious community drinks wine. Some clients like French wine, and I recommended an Israeli wine that we import, and they loved it. Chengdu is another popular destination for Israelis. It's a central city in southwest China, where Israelis have created their own community. Avi Barzilai's pizza place became famous after his daughter became a social media star in Doyen, the Chinese equivalent of TikTok. It's not like I opened a restaurant and I wait for people to come and maybe 50% would look interested. You need to work behind the scenes, to be a social media star, to work on it. There's a lot beyond. Avi's restaurant became one of the best 50 restaurants in the district of Sichuan with pizza, but also with Middle Eastern food like hummus and shakshuka. And unlike in Israel, the restaurants are open and working. On the other side of Chengdu, the Casa Hotel is owned by Barak Kreef, another Israeli. There are no foreign tourists, but locals are well-traveled, and the hotel is open for business. As soon as the coronavirus pandemic started, the local police explained that we need to close down. So I sent my employees home, and I stayed here. We have nine rooms in our hotel. Sichuan is a district of 150 million people. So during the peak of coronavirus, we had tens of sick people here. The situation wasn't bad as in Israel today. During the peak, Barak suffered economically, but his business is efficient. And today, his hotel is running and very profitable. With local treatment of coronavirus cases, China is able to keep the economy running. Schools are open, airports are working with local flights, and since May of last year, the Israelis living in China have become part of its economic growth.